Hi folks, so today I'm going to share something with you, something really cool. So I'm going to show you Jasper. Jasper is basically an artificial intelligence tool that we can use to create uh, artwork. We just tell Jasper what do we want to create and it can then create those images for us. And we can then use those images as we like, like in our blog posts, for writing something as thumbnails, to share on Instagram. So let's dive right into it. So there are a few ways to do this. The easiest way, the quickest way is free form where we just type in what we want to see. Superman dressed as a doctor yeah there we go these images are much better especially this one where you can see superman is kind of dressed as a doctor is wearing a stethoscope if you're a harry potter fan i'll just type hogwarts as van gogh so we want to see hogwarts but in the style of uh, vincent van gogh and this is one example, right? It's it's Hogwarts, it's Hogwarts, the school, but more like uh, how Van Gogh would have painted it. If I click create again, it will show us some more examples. Here's a second image preview, and we can just download it. Uh, regular size is 512 by 512. We can also use higher dimensions. For now, Jasper is allowing us to download these images for free even higher resolution images, but I think in the in the future, it will become a premium feature, pretty much like Canva, where to change the resolution, we need a premium subscription. A man swimming pile of cash. Right, so this is like a, Uh, kind of what I was looking for, but let's try again. And swimming, what if I write swimming in a pile of cash, right? This is kind of more like what I was talking about. And you can see some of these images, uh, sometimes they have some weird facial features. Sometimes the eyes are a bit weird because again, everything is generated using artificial intelligence. Let's try something else now. Let's say Einstein wide to the smile. And what do we get? So I want to, I want to generate those silly Einstein images. Oh, my bad. See the spellings matter a lot. Einstein. Apparently I can't spell Einstein. So Einstein. Why to the smile, what do we get? Yeah, kind of some some funny and some freaky images. Like this one looks very real. And we can actually go to the basic section now and we can choose different styles. So from the style of different artists, for example, if you choose Dr. Seuss, it will create an image that Dr. Seuss, a Dr. Seuss book would have. So let's say, I remove insane details. Yeah, this again, this one looks very, very real. And this, this kind of looks like a Dr. Seuss image. But let's try again. And we also have the option of choosing different moods, angry, aggressive, let's say colorful. And in terms of keywords, we'll choose highly detailed and medium let's say we want a uh, mixed media collage that we get this one looks very artistic you can still guess who this is but again the style is very cool we can also change it to, let's say, uh, South Park, the TV show, the animated TV show. What do we get? And this is exactly like the characters in South Park, if you've seen that show, right? Very real. Quirrell astronaut.
So paint a portrait of a squirrel astronaut. Get a cool little portrait of a squirrel as an astronaut. But this is just one example, right? Uh, we can also say Titanic in Titanic near the glacier. What do we get? Pretty cool. This looks more like the Titanic. A cake with a picture of with a picture the map of Canada. Okay. That's pretty good. We do have a cake with a picture of Canada. And uh, this one is kind of like Canada, not really, but still we have something. Um, this is Ontario, some of the lakes, I guess. Let's do a uh, Sherlock Holmes dressed in kurta, right? So the traditional lacy dress kurta. Uh, so the AI has taken Benedict Cumberbatch, the latest Sherlock, with mustaches apparently, and dressed him in a kurta. And this is around the head. Uh, let's do photorealistic. Again, Benedict Cumberbatch. I don't know why it keeps showing Benedict with, with mustaches. Uh, rest of the image is fine. Let's say uh, Obama as black Superman. I keep coming back to Superman because I really like Superman. Big fan. <laughs> right, so it, it, it is pretty real. Uh, what else can I do to make it like an actual picture of Obama? I guess we can choose realistic. Let's see what we get. Oh, and this Obama is very buffed. <laughs> Anyhow, so you see how, how easy it is. You can just write different things and get that in the image. I actually used it in a couple of my videos. So I wanted to, there was a video about the devil's advocate mental model. So I wanted to show a devil wearing a suit in an old church. So I wrote something like uh, devil wearing a suit church in 1600s something like that so this is one example right so you get different kind of images as if they're like actual images from an old book um let's do highly detailed Mm -hmm. Let's do man with horns wearing a suit, church in 1600s. So man with horns, which is a devil, wearing a suit like a lawyer. This one looks more like a Viking hat, not a devil. But these do look like classic images from the past, right? Uh, real photo. Let's try a famous athlete, um, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan shooting the hoops. Kind of looks like Michael Jordan, but again, with, with some weird thing happening to his face. But you can still you can still use these images, especially if you're using them as thumbnails. Random abstract art. And I won't choose any setting. Oops, not RT, art. And not abstracta. Okay, abstract art, random abstract art. What does it generate for us? 
It's a cool little painting. And also tried a bunch of other things. So for example, I, I tried it with cities um, like London, and an artist I chose Van Gogh and create. Right, so you see a beautiful image of London. We can also make it in the style of Pixar. This one seems pretty real. This car is kind of like a Pixar, Pixar animation car. So let's choose one more thing. What if you wanted to generate logos? A logo of Google and we just click create. So we are getting a logo. I've noticed one thing that it doesn't exactly copy the text or put the text that you want in the image. Maybe it's because of some co copyright issues, maybe some other reason, but it kind of gets there. So logo of Google in the shape of Apple logo. What if I want to kind of mix the two logos together, I want to combine them, what do we get? Yeah, sort of this one. Let's see, let's click it again. So we get different different things. Let's make something else now. Uh, house of which children's storybook. So we want to make a witch, which uh, typically we see in children's storybook, and that's a pretty cool image, actually. Not very scary because it's children's storybook. I like it actually. I think it is usable. And if we just say a witch without specifying children, I think it will be scarier in this way. Yeah, so that's a much scarier witch, right? Much realistic witch. So we can get different stuff. Jasper has two versions. One is Jasper art, where you can actually make different kinds of artwork. The other one is, uh, which is actually the more popular Jasper tool, is where Jasper AI can actually write articles for you. It can write blog posts, articles, whole books. If you sign up using the link that I'm sharing below, you you can try it out for free, absolutely free, ten thousand words, and you can also uh, use Jasper Art to make some of the cool images. Like if you look at their website, I'm sure these people were much more creative than than me and they've used it to create some cool images. This looks like a very realistic kind of a downtown Tokyo image, ship in the ocean, a very funky cow with sunglasses, all created using AI with the help of Jasper. And with Jasper art, you can just use it to create cool images. Thank you very much. Take care guys.